Um, as you apply keto principles, depending on the amount of carb restriction you have, you can get into this issue of having higher and higher LDL cholesterol. Um, so his idea was to kind of tag on to what you did, and that is, um, if this is driven by a physiology in which you have depleted uh, glucose stores and glycogen from the liver, uh, you're a lean individual, and your LDL cholesterol has gone up in uh, a way due to the lipid energy model, for example, could it be the case that adding carbohydrates back to the diet would uh, basically reverse this process, which resulted in very high LDL? So if it's a carbohydrate refeeding that's responsible for the drop in LDL, does it matter what carbohydrate you have? Uh, does it have to be a certain type of carb? Does it have to be a grain? Does it have to be a uh, processed carb? And so what I thought Nick did that was very interesting. He said, well, let's pick a carb that people wouldn't think is very healthy. Now, there could be a lot of things on that list, but he chose Oreo cookies, right? So nobody would look at Oreo cookies as a health food. And nobody would look at it as uh, something you would intervene with in somebody's uh, physiology. And yet the idea is that a carb is a carb. And if I introduce carbs sufficiently back into a system that is awry because it's having to transport lots of fat to burn energy, right? So this was the idea. Let me, in his words, you know, let, let's go on a ketogenic diet, stable baseline, usual activity, everything uh, as normally is, but with an LDL cholesterol that's quite high, in excess of 350. And let's, in that setting, introduce Oreo cookies, 100 grams of glucose a day in the form of Oreo cookies, and see what happens to LDL cholesterol. And then after that has happened for a period of time, stop that experiment, wash out, go back to your baseline everything. And then with LDL cholesterol back to a high baseline, uh, try statin therapy to see what effect statins would have in lowering LDL, as that is one of our most common uh, means by which we treat patients. And, and not just any old statin, resuvastatin 20 milligrams will be considered a high intensity statin. And since it takes six weeks or so for that to become steady state, you know, check this regularly over a period of time to see what the nadir is for the LDL cholesterol on the statin. So that's the experiment. The experiment is to take a case study of somebody who is a known lean mass hyperresponder who has a baseline LDL cholesterol that's quite high, um, introduce carbs, see what the effect is, wash out. Then once you're back to baseline, treat with statins for a period of six weeks and see what happens. The experiment was a, a fascinating because just as you showed that carb introduction in the setting of a lean mass hyper-responsive phenotype can rapidly decrease LDL, uh, over a 14-day period of time, there was a 71% reduction in mixed LDL cholesterol. And it wasn't something that took a while to see. I mean, it was he had several different uh, labs performed during that period of time, and it came down smartly. Uh, at 14 days, the question was, is this real? And he even checked it again at 15 and 16 days to ensure that this was a, a real phenomenology. It wasn't just a lab work. And so just as you had seen in your experiment, he saw in his experiment that carbohydrate reintroduction uh, can robustly and rapidly reduce LDL cholesterol, in his case, by 71%. Now, what happened with the statin? Now, you would expect 20 milligrams of resuvastatin to give a 45 to 50% reduction in LDL cholesterol. Now, everybody's different, but you know, there's a lot of literature out there where you can have an expected response. In this case, it went down about 30%. And so you can take away from that a couple of things. Number one, statins did reduce LDL cholesterol, but not by the magnitude that you saw with carbohydrate reintroduction. Carbohydrate reintroduction was more than twice uh, as robust at lowering the LDL cholesterol and in a relatively, you know, a very short period of time, uh, 14 days. Um, and secondly, you can look at that 30% reduction in LDL cholesterol and say, is there more to the story, right? Is, is there a reason that it wasn't 45 or 50% as might be expected uh, just based on population data. 